even though the research goes back and forth and there's some controversy around the helpfulness of something called ascorbic acid or vitamin C on helping the immune system, it's not gonna hurt you. If you take a vitamin C supplement or a large dose of ascorbic acid, it might cause, cause some bowel difficulties, but it appears that vitamin C has some pretty good antiviral activity. Now, even if you're not using a high dose vitamin C supplement, I would actually prioritize within your diet when you are eating some very vitamin C rich foods. Like I'm a huge fan of organic cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and cauliflower or broccoli sprouts for this. Uh, dark leafy greens like kale and spinach within reason. They're high in things like oxalates, etc. but smaller doses of those type of things. Uh, kiwis are amazing. They can also help you to sleep and improve melatonin. And another research study I was just going through this afternoon shows that the combination of melatonin and vitamin C is amazing as far as specifically increasing your resistance to this COVID-19. So kiwis, have vitamin C in them in really good amounts and also help you to produce melatonin. So you could have, for example, a couple of kiwis for dessert after dinner and that'd be an amazing little thing to throw into the mix. A few of the things to consider would be sweet potatoes, blueberries, pomegranates, um, tomatoes, and if you can get your hands on some really vitamin packed versions of animal meats, particularly organ meats, uh, like liver, for example, not only is that giving you some immune boosting A and D and E and some K, but also a little bit of vitamin C and some minerals as well.